Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I forgot to show it at the end of the last run, but I did finish. Uh, the last run was number 100. We are 84% over 100 wins. Not too bad. 26 in a row. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much, but maybe once I reach 200 runs, I will then do like, a, let's see how, let's, let's try super hard again. But 100 runs of fun sounds good, so let's get to it. Uh, I like playing flex a lot. I actually think flex is a lot of fun. This is the good way to play two blues. You play it on flex. Uh, this team is good. Let's just make sure. Yeah, you want to check to see if you get any cool, like, 0 0.01 parties. I'm down with double blue to play Bad Wisp. Seems good to me. Double blue plus a yellow so we don't get screwed over by any shenanigans. Very solid. And I rolled with these. We're going to boost the cultist here is the idea so we can leaf that let's go here we leaf this to do two to kill the thorn killing thorns in the early game of double blue is always a real trouble and i guess this wisp could just build itself into a massive wall and then i wouldn't be able to kill the archer but you know cultist has my Never mind. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Nothing. 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 That's okay. Just, you know, I'm on turn three in the first fight, it's a little bit concerning. A little bit worrying. But Primrose. Primrose has my back. You see that? That's the Primrose difference right there. Nobody can cast this. Take me back to the start. We can go burst for extra mana. I got it. We survived combat one. Oh baby. This is enough. Maiko Enchanter. Not what you want to see as your first pick, but Maiko in place of initiate is fine. As long as you have someone else who is good for mana uh, usage, I think Maiko's not terrible. I, you know, I'm. He's all right. You know, I was hard on him in the tier list. I've talked about this a few times in other places, but the reality is I don't think Maiko... The only, there's only one character that I think is actually worth considering, like, do not click this under any circumstances. I'll let you take a second if you want to try to guess out who it is. Uh, I'll give you a moment to think about it before I tell you that it is, in fact, uh, obviously tainted. Very, very clearly it's tainted. That unit is, like... That's the boogeyman. That's the what is he even doing in this game type B. I will not be ever, hopefully not be ever having to click on that. But you never know. Uh, maybe the time will come. I, I think that the case for Tainted is that you have to pick him to, ha to get out of something that you're listening to. So you just have to take the risk on the curse. But I don't know what the situation is. This is Courage Potion. Sorry, I got a little locked up there. It's like maybe you take him because you need him for Hexia is one thing that someone suggested, which I could see. Maybe you need his poison as an out to kill Hexia. Maybe your run just can't beat it otherwise. But even that seems kind of doubtful to me. Maybe you play him for... I don't know. I don't know. Have you guys had any good Tainted runs? Now, the thing is, Tainted is, like, a lot of people will, will come to me with this question and they will say, oh, well, I picked Tainted and he won my run. I have won runs with Tainted as well, in case you're unaware. The problem with that unit is that... Uh, if you roll a bad curse, it'll just kill your run. Oh, here, let me, real quick. I saw one last time I talked about this. I, I, won't, I won't harp on this for too much longer. But I want to make sure the point is clear, because I feel like I am in an eternal war with the YouTube comments section over shit like this. Uh, you can click on Tainted, and then he could just give you, like, Bottom Poison, obviously pretty bad. There's one that's, like, game-losing, though. 
Uh, there's like a one that I could imagine that's like in this comedy. Oh yeah, fucking worst. You can click Tainted and then lose Burst, or you could last pick this guy and then he could just give Hexia 23 HP. That's the shit you gotta be aware of. Like, there's so many ways that that unit just ends your life. Wonder if Cleave. Spore Cleave is actually worth more. So I'm gonna keep these and I'll let the sphere roll down to stun. There you go. We can go like Spore Cleave, Cut Sphere, Burst, Burst. No, probably not Cut Sphere. It's probably Cut Ruffian. That's fine. My take on Sphere now, I, I don't feel anything about this character. I mostly think that Sphere is really annoying. That's that's my Sphere hot take. I think this character is really irritating to play. Because none of these are single use, I see. Or single keyword, I mean. Like, it's annoying to just have to sit here and watch him roll. See, I'm glad he missed, actually. Oh, right, because burst is burst the smart key bindings change. It always tries to burst the enemies. So bursting five does not work there. Am I okay here? Just a thought. Just a just a quick thought. I'm okay, I win. But uh if Ruffian didn't roll that, I wonder if I was in trouble. I can take Licker, although Quicksilver's fun. I think, oh, we have no shields. Yeah, Quicksilver's fun in this team with no graves. Haha. <laughs> Never mind. I, yeah, it's just, this is definitely a lot more of a kill or be killed mentality we're facing off with here. I... Maybe I, oh, you're hitting Sphere. I'm gonna do Spore here. You're on five, you're on... You're on five, so it's like, this is fine. Golems will run if you can clear the rest of the fight out, but I don't think I can in time. This is this, this is one. Yeah, when you're down to two ones, I think you just take the, what you gotta take here. Blam bones. Yeah, there you go. He does run. Someone told me that uh, that enemy does not... He counts as armor as HP. But he was on like 7 there and he ran. So now I can say for sure that I don't think that's the case. I feel something when I click on Herbalist, but I'm going to pick Sparky because I actually think Sparky is quite a bit better here because we're going to have so much mana generation through Myco plus whatever our tier 2 red is. And Sphere means that Sparky has an easier time hitting his important side. So while I do like Herbalist and think she's very good, it is a Sparky day today. I wonder how much of that choice though, either like consciously or subconsciously, I wonder how much of that choice is determined by me seeing Sphere in the last fight. Do you think it plays any part? Do you think I thought about that at all? Even like, again, subconsciously maybe? Hard to say. I am not gonna play Mana Bomb, by the way. I'm good. Although if you get rid of the mana cost, well. The Twin Daggers for Sphere is very good. Is that what it's called? Wrist Blade. It's not called Twin Daggers. I would have guessed Twin Daggers though. Alright, might go. Acceptable. Oh, they're beating the fuck out of my ruffian. Huh. Um. Here's your tech. You can go zap and then spore to kill that. Or I guess actually I shouldn't kill it, I should save Ruffian. 
It's a little weird, but you don't need to... I guess you could spore for 2 plus 1, because he's going to end at 0 anyway. I suppose it didn't actually matter then. I need a mana. There we go. If I'm not mistaken, this is lethal. Because you go spore, zap. Close enough. Emerald Shard Pendulum. Do I have anything for Pendulum here? No, it's not worth adding two archers to the sarcophagus. And I will take anything other than Priestess here. Because I've seen now Enchanter Priestess uh, Herbalist, which means Medic, Druid, Disciple... Who? Medic, Druid, Disciple... Oh, Vampire. Yeah. Medic, Druid, Disciple, Vampire. Oh, now I'm not sure. I wanted, I thought I'd be able to do it nice and easy because I played this game so much, but apparently not. I thought I'd look all cool, but now I just look a fool. Now everyone's going to laugh at me in the comments section. Ha ha. They're going to say. And I'm just going to have to take it. I'm just going to have to be ha ha that. Because you're right. Aha. Anyway. Enchant what is it? It's Enchanter Priestess Medic Druid Herbalist Vampire Disciple I'm, I'm just gonna look. I gotta look. What am I missing here? Oh, Faye. Yeah, okay. Every time I did the math, too, I was like, oh, man, I have it. I have them all. And I was sure. I actually thought I was... Sh I actually thought I had them all, and ev not a single time did I have them all. Every time I forgot Faye there. Do you blame me, though? And slam for four. Can slam for more than, sp more than four, actually. Slam for spore. One, two, maybe burst. I think that was a lot of effort to end the same. It doesn't matter. Slam is single keyword, so I can log these for a slam. Okay, I think this is lethal. Slam off of that, slam off of that. All right, what do we get? Clover, that's pretty good. Learn hack. Plays blank sides with four damage this turn. I'll take pulley, I guess. I don't really know what it does. We could, oh, we could do like... Ear, pulley over. Yeah, it did something. Cool. I didn't think it would. I actually had, I, I did not think that was going to do something. I was pretty sure I was like, every time I take that item, it just is worthless. So I guess my expectations were kind of low. Let me start from zero here. Okay. I think what I'm doing right now is I'm getting a little lost thinking I have to do this in a specific way, like to maximize damage or whatever. I don't actually think it matters. In fact, this looks worse than how I did it originally, which is crazy. Surely it shouldn't have been, but... First zap, one. First, first, one. I, whatever. You, you gotta stop yourself, and if yourself is you, you are me. You gotta stop me who is you, who is myself, who is you, from getting lost on the way. And now to put that into human terms, you gotta stop fucking doing that shit, man. I take Disciple here, because if I random into Medic, I'm sad. It's un unlikely, but it can happen. 
No, I gotta stop uh, min-maxing when it doesn't matter to min-max, is what I'm trying to say, but then getting distracted by myself. Because these aren't zombies, these are fanatics and carriers. Why did I burst that? Okay, whatever. The carrier dies. I'm strong and powerful, and I need to stop... Uh, I need to stop sweating it. Okay, maybe I need to sweat it here. This is nine, I have four, I can slam. Gladiator's two. I should spore Gladiator. First burst glow. That looks all right. Should maybe set the fanatic to be killed, but if I can't kill this fanatic next turn, I mean, come on. Got it. Decree. Ooh, I love dogma. But, uh, it's pretty bad here. I wonder if it can be good later. I don't really need Bag of Holding since I already have Pulley, so let me take Decree. Only pips change when the side is replaced. Whatever. It might be good later, basically. I don't know if it's good later or not. I think it has... I, I assume. I assume it has some combos that will be good for me. I should also always be rolling the sphere down to zero, I think. So we can go... One damage. Or no, it goes like... Burst, burst. It's like, I can only burst, burst one. I'm lost. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? I'm, I think I'm going to move on from slamming. I think I'm going to put that out of my mind. In that case, then, we're going to spore... It's like this, and then you can go like... My Sphere and my Disciple are tapped next turn. I can just end. I was gonna kill one Suitle, but banking five mana means Sparky has a high chance of just obliterating someone on this turn. Sparky? Scatter their ashes to the Cosmos. Sparky! Sparky the Cosmos! Okay, you know what, Sparky? Acceptable. Not exactly what I wanted out of you, but I can't be mad. Oh, I can still slam even though they're weakened. I didn't think about that, did you? You, and then, oh, it's, I have exactly one. First, slam, zap. That was the wrong one. Slam, zap. First, first, first. There we go. I'm gonna make it. I feel like these turns have been hard, though. Like, usually it pops out to me very easily how to make lethal. It's not been so easy here lately. Wizard. Probably pretty good. I don't mind giving up my go for blind wizard here. Kronos is like, whatever. But wizard is someone who I can get some huge dogma value out of if I get a good item for him. He's like king dogma here. No doubt. You're dying to double bones. Honestly, I'm bound to just self-boost Wizard. You can pick the Sphere up to 2 and 2 every time, but it's not that good. Oops. Actually,
Actually, you know what I'd rather do here? I, once I kill this bones, I can go 1-1-1. One, one, one. Although, I guess I can go 2-1. I am fucking it up on these key bindings. 2-1 and then 1 here, I guess? Whatever. We boosted wizard, so now he does a bunch of twos. Which should be good. Give me two damage, please. Okay, I'm not gonna risk him rolling the one in six to kill me here. However, I should unlock this, because it's not very good now. That's a high roll, and I should definitely have kept the... Should have kept the sphere out. I, I've just been locking it. It's part of how I play, but there's no reason to lock the sphere. I guess on one roll, he could end on stun in this fight, which wouldn't be that good. So there is actually a reason. Because if he ends on stun, it's kind of gross. But it's not like that's really going to happen. Oh, sure. Demon deal. If you can get away with Demon Deal Wizard, it's very, very strong. Can I get away with Demon Deal Wizard? I have Disciple. We can try. Give it a little whirl. Two mana. Hmm. I think I should just lock the shield here. This is a five. Come on, Sphere. Come on, Sphere. Wow. I needed the one and I didn't hit it. Huh. Because I needed to... Oh, I didn't need to, but I wanted to... Uh, One-shot the ghost here. Okay. Stunning the chomp isn't bad, per se, but one damage would have been a little bit nicer for me. Here? That seems unlikely. Okay, the shield is actually meant to go there, but I can zap the charm. It's fine. Doesn't matter. You're a wizard? No. Captain Surgeon. I'm super down for Surgeon. If we're playing this high risk with Demon Deal, having Surgeon to unfuck things is very good. Mm, I'll keep it like it is for now. The item that I'm thinking of here that I want is a uh, longsword for a wizard. That's probably your big hit. Probably the, the big winner. Look for mana. Come on, Sergeant, you got it. What am I doing with you, Gladiator? Killing Alpha? And Sparky's going for the Spiker? One, one, I don't... I have it, but I don't have it. Which probably means I actually do have it. Here's your big question. Can you find lethal on this turn? I bet you can, because this is net positive for mana. And now sphere goes one, one, seven, first, first. There it is. So why does that work out? How do you have to think about it so that that makes sense? Um, so if you inspire, you're spending four mana. If you inspire Gladiator there, it's four mana to four damage, which is the same. If you inspire... Oh, fuck. That one's my fault. Too busy yapping. Uh, but yeah, basically, inspire is two to... two to two, but it's because you're getting three mana... three damage, three mana, you're getting six pips worth of value, which is slightly higher than... 4 to 4, it's 4 to 6 for mana to value. But, oh, duck. Alright, we'll take the demon deal off, because now we have a duck. 
Even Demon Deal Surgeon is not terrible. Sometimes your Surgeon fucks up on healing other people, but that's okay. Three mana. I can lock this five. Good for the Echo. Wizard is strong when you have anything that gives you net positive on your Echo like this. This is when Wizard is really quite powerful. Because then you just do this to people. 10? What am I on? 10, 20, 30, 36. Hang on. 10, 20, 30, 35, 39. I have 43 total health. Thought he might run there. I am not willing to press random because it can roll tainted, but picking ace here, I guess I have to do it, basically. And it's okay. I can often proc this trio. Does anyone have a four? I have fives. I have a four. Okay, so you can go like this. The problem with Ace is when he misses, but whatever. Air. I like the Echo for sure. I'm gonna roll for the four. The Sphere helps too. Here's your four. Come on, Ace. Give me the trio. Come on, you little bitch. Give me my trio. This is what you were made for. Ah, hate him so much. You know he's like my... Th he's not even that low on my pick rates anymore, though. I think you can go single boost up to five. Did I do... I did. I'm gonna go for lethal here. Oh, but I can't pair if I don't do this. Okay. And this is free mana. One more thought here, though. Double use five, and then you can just go like one, two. That's also fine. I don't know. You can probably play this fight a lot of ways. I think from this spot, I've probably got a win. Yeah. It's okay, Ace. I do still hate you. But it is to be expected that you're going to miss you. Standard or Spark? Mana gain... Oh, fuck. If you go mana gain on this ever... Uh, it's like, it's so stupid, because I'm never going to hit this. And if I do hit it, it's just such disgusting excess. I'm just going to go Standard. I... I should do it. I should definitely do it. But... He's kind of disgusting, so I didn't. Give me some mana here, please. Hello? Mana? Hello? What the fuck is happening? No mana. Ugh. This is supposed to be a cool perma boost play. That's terrible, by the way. Oh yeah, uh, in case you've thought of it, I've also thought of it. If you want to here, you are allowed to uh, keep Sphere to the end, boost up Wizard, perma boost, and then go infinite on Sphere. It's plausible. I don't want to do that shit, but I think in desperate times, I'm going to need to. Ace. Ace. How many rolls does this moron need? Is 
That was unbelievable. How many rolls until he hits this trio side? Will he hit it before the end of the run? I'm not so sure anymore. Okay, I'll deal with the sphere problem on this turn. Ah, there it is. It's just like, it, it's so fake because he doesn't, I don't need it now, right? Like, I don't care about this hit. It's not good. I'm not like, oh, thank God, I got my quadruple. Because it doesn't matter now. I'm not even playing for it. It is actually, he just rolled four mana. And I don't care, because the fight's already done. Luggage Brawler. I think if you give up Sphere here, it's kind of sad. But also, I have Dogma, so I'm just going to click on Luggage. Riba, Wooden Bracelet, Crescent Shield. Uh, Crescent Shield is the opposite of what I need. Only pips change when the side is replaced. I need uh, the other one here, the Tier 14, that I don't know the name of. I'm not going to lie to you. These suck. I mean, Priba's sick. Priba's super good. Uh, Tormaline Priba Wizard is probably a good way forward. But, like, Wooden Bracelet? Oof. Rampage Rescue? Actually, this is kind of cute for Gladiator. And, oh, we could give it the potion, maybe? Hmm. The Paraiba gets overwritten by the Echo, which I am aware of. So you can put it on Ace, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Okay, so here's the combo, by the way. This is the actual setup that I was trying to do all run. We finally got it. I'm gonna need these, actually. So you go four... Echo, and that gives you 12 mana, which you then get to inspire for 28 mana. That's the setup that we've been playing for. Could I ever... You might... Hang on, let me, let me run the numbers here. I might be able to do more. Let me done rolling this. Because I can play... Let me think about this. I can go four. Four, right? But then I could go like... Oh, but draw doesn't work on that because it's echoing. Oh, how about this? One mana, draw up to five, and then five, and then draw again up to 20, or up to 15 then reuse, and then we get 15. It's worth taking the time to figure it out. Because who knows if it'll matter again. Helm of Power. You want to go fucking insane with me? I'm not even using this. <laughs> Uh, let's take... I think I might actually take Dumbbell here. No, I don't know. I can go... 8? Eight, 8. Let me think about this. 8-8, eight, eight, and then... Yeah, okay. I should go Dumbbell for when I realize that what I'm doing is silly. Because Dumb Dumbbell and Helm of Power are the same here for this ace. If I connect with the combo, I win every fight. But it all comes down to ace hitting his side. Nothing else matters too much. It's just ace. And a lot of times we're going to see this turn. Which is fine. We go four. Five, six. Or that's three. Four, five. And then I have seven mana left. And I'll just win on the next turn. The This luggage is... I mean, also wizard, right? I can lose if wizard misses too, but 
this run is fun more than it is actually good. And that's what matters to me. So. Dragon. Cool. Uh, curator's fine. Although I might... not nah, Curator's fine. I might want Gladiator there. Or not Gladiator. A uh, Veteran there. Because Veteran has a better chance of giving me the one mana for the first burst. Or sorry, the first boost. But... I think it's actually supposed to look like this. Because then you go 8, 16, and then boost here. Yeah, okay. We'll see if we're having fun today. Oh, we are. I just need a mana side now. And then we're all but chilling. Oh no. How sad. If this is how much? It's still good enough. This is nine. This is nine. Inspire. Nine. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm off by one. Oh well. You're on four four here, so you could go like, hit here. This is how much now? It's 11. One, two, three. One, one, 12. Inspire. And undo. Charged, inspire. There you go. Sure. I mean, it's a little disappointing. I, I one shot the dragon, so I shouldn't complain too much. But I gotta say, I really wanted to hit the the eight mana to just make Ace pop out like infinity mana. But it is what it is. I don't think that this redeems Ace in any meaningful way. Because at the end of the day, the character suffers from the exact same problem still, which is that uh, he's only one side. He's just this three mana trio. But that was fun. I had a good time. And that's the point. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.